Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another unboxing. As you can see, uh, the TV down there is gone. and It looks pretty bare in here, but that's because we're moving back into campus. It's spring semester and we moved stuff out because we weren't sure we wouldn't come back. So I'm, I'm here right now, my roommate, he's still not here because he's like New York stuff, but I'm here because I'm from DC. But beyond all that, today we're unboxing the Keurig K Classic. Can't read that, can't read that, can't read that. Rhubarb, rhubarb ray, and rhubarb, bro. I don't know what that means, but we're about to open it up and find out. We're gonna open it up. And these are some cups, K cups I have. Got this, this box, guys, for my birthday. Uh, my 19th birthday, which is this past October. Uh, my family got me uh, Keurig, because I like drinking tea. I don't really drink coffee. <clears throat> I drink tea, not chocolate, that's pretty much it. Rarely will you ever catch me drinking coffee, unless I'm just like, I don't even know. That'd be a dark day. But let's, let's get, get started, you know. So I just basically finished reading the instructions. And the gist of it is that I need to, um, first... I need to like turn it on, of course. I have to clean it out using a cleansing brew, and then I can uh, place the pot in there, start reading, uh, brewing it, and then I'm ready. And I think I was backwards. You might not be able to read that, but just trust me. And before we do any of that, I'm actually going to, what? You see this part right here with the water goes in? I'm going to wash this real quick just to be like safe because it's important to washing before using it for the first time as well. So, I'm going to try that. Alrighty. Now we have it over here. It's plugged in right there. And this has been clean. Now it's time for the first cleaning group. Alright, now the heating is finished. And we are going to uh, use this little function right here, the small cup, to do our cleansing. But I'm realizing that I don't really want to have to wash this mug. Because if it's cleansing it, it might be potentially dirty. I won't want to drink that. I don't feel like washing on the dish. Actually, I kind of do, but... I'm going to take this cup, I can move this dripping tray out, that's new, uh, open this up, that's what I'm supposed to do, put it right down, alright, guess it's finished, take this water, uh, what the heck, I'm going to put this back here just in case, put this cup in the sink. And now it's time to actually brew something. And I might in the mood to drink some tea, but I've also been given another gift, K-Cup. So we're gonna go over there and open it. a zesty lemon blend with a hint of ginger, herbal tea, other natural flavors. Uh, oh yeah, I don't feel like reading too much. Oh, you can try it over ice. Maybe, I could do that. Let's do this. Got the, got my K cup, lemon ginger. Open this thing up. There's a needle down there to pop the things open. I'm gonna put this right here, and then I'm gonna. And now, what level do I want? I want a medium level, so I'm gonna hit this. I understand I'm probably going to use uh, honey and lemon juice and other things that help flavor my tea a little more because I kind of like my tea a little sweet. And also tart, but you know, I'm just gonna try it off the bat. See how it tastes, you know? I don't like putting sugar in it. I try to put honey because I think it's healthier. I've actually never had honey before going to college for real. I tried it and I got hooked. So, honey is definitely something I have in my uh, in the kitchen, whether it be for like tea or other things. It goes good with Brussels sprouts. Don't, I made a recipe on it. You have to ask me for it. I'm just going to put a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Hopefully, I'm not messing it up by using it twice. Uh-oh. Uh, uh -oh. Maybe that was too much. Uh-oh. Oh, that was definitely a mistake on my part. Now it's overfilled. Oh, let me, let me get out of here. It says add water. And I use up most of my water. So now I'm going to smooth this. Careful. Oh, shoot, man. I'm spilling it. Well, you need to clean the counter anyway. 
Okay, let me put it on a napkin. Move this stuff out the way. Okay, let me see what kind of teaspoon I should get. I mean, teaspoon actually. I don't think I have one of those. This might be a teaspoon. Maybe it's not. I don't think so. But look at all the sauce we have and birthday candles. Well, I'm supposed to let the tea steep. I'm not sure how strong this tea is, so I wanted to taste it. Oh, shoot, the butter. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. This, with no added anything, honey, lemon juice, or zilch, zilch. All right. This needs a little something. <laughs> it needs a lot of something, actually. It tastes like water. It really does taste like water. Um, I would say I'm disappointed, but I wasn't really expecting too much anyway, since most teas, I add stuff to them. I mean, the healthy way. My Chinese teacher always, in high school, she also told me that, oh yeah, that's the healthy way. You don't add anything to it. Like you, you, you just have straight tea, no sugar, no nothing. But sugar, that's the old way. Now it's honey time. But I might throw an orange in it. But I might just eat an orange real quick. Now the question is, what am I gonna do about this tea? Let's keep up the lemon theme with some lemon lavender lane. I'm dedicated to making this tea taste good, all right? So while this tea is steeping, I'm getting ready to add my other stuff in there. Uh, give like a drop of lemon juice, some honey, and that's pretty much all I need for right now. And we're to, we're to fix this bad bub, bad boy up. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Decent. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Um, it's all right. Yeah, probably would try. I'm trying again in the future. I also have different pods. I have hot chocolate pods, as I said, I was interested in before. Try those out. That'd be good. I might try some iced tea, maybe, if I can do that. I, I don't know how to do that yet, but if I do... I'm gonna try. So yeah, pretty much it. Simple video. All right, guys, be blessed. Stay safe, this COVID's crazy. Oh yeah, you can like and subscribe and all that stuff, you know. It, it'd be much appreciated. Ho, 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 hold up. Wait a minute, I'm looking on the back of this uh, lemon juice and it says, contains 100% juice. I will understand that because it's lemon juice. Ha has about 189 servings, right? One serving size is one tablespoon, which is five milliliters. However, the amount of uh, calories per serving is zero. Total fat, zero grams. Saturated fat, zero grams. Trans fat, zero grams. Cholesterol, zero uh, milligrams. Sodium, zero. Total carbohydrate, zero. Protein, vitamin D, calcium, iron. Fast. So what the heck am I even eating? I'm drinking, actually.